You guys know how lonely it is to be a developer. This is my friend, Cashew. Today, we're gonna make a sticky animated navbar, something like this. So I'm starting off with a blank HTML file. I'm gonna use Emmet to create the HTML skeleton. I'm also going to replace the title and add some links. This is the link for our style sheet. I'll, I'll create that in a second. And this is the link for Google font Montserrat. So I'm also going to add a script tag because we're going to have a little bit of JavaScript. I'm going to call that app.js. I'm going to create those files. So that's styles.css and app.js. So for our markup, I'm going to use Emmet again to create the um, elements. I'm going to start out with a div with a class of page. Inside of this div, I'm going to have the header, the class of header. Inside of the header, I'm going to have the div again with a class of header content. Content like that. Inside of that again, I'm going to have a div with a class of logo. Just going to write new horizons. That's what we're calling this. So inside the header, I'm also going to have the nav element. So that's nav with a class of nav. And here I'm going to have a, an ordered list with a class of nav list. And in here, I'm going to have four, four navigation links, li, with a class of nav item. Oh, let's say nav link. That's better. And then I'm going to have four of those. And inside of these, I'm going to have the a tag. And the first one is going to be project. Actually, that was just a mistake. I'm going to just copy these instead. And then I have about, let's say blog, and we can say contact. To be able to show you the scrolling, I need to have some content to be able to scroll over. So I'm just gonna create a div outside of the, the header. That's gonna be the content. And in here, I'm gonna have a title here. So it's gonna be H1 with a class of title. I'm gonna have new horizons. So that's it for our markup. I'm going to open this with live server. So there we go. That's how it looks right now. We have our logo, our navigation menu, and our title. So the idea I have is that I'm gonna have a header. I'm gonna have a big picture. It's gonna be approximately 600 pixels tall. And when I scroll down, the header is gonna be sticky to the top. And when I reach the edge of the picture, the background here is gonna be white and the text is gonna be white. So I have to give the header some background color so we can actually see the text on top of this white background. Let's just get into that and style this. So I'm gonna head, head over to our CSS file and we're gonna start off with some global stylings. This is gonna be our margin and padding resets and we're gonna have box sizing border box and I'm gonna put in the Montserrat on everything. This is again the Montserrat that I linked in here in the HTML file from Google Fonts. You can find the link there or you can choose whatever kind of font you want. I like Montserrat, I'm basic that way. So now we have the margin resets and everything. I'm going to style the page elements. We want to have a position relative because we're gonna have some absolutes inside of it that's gonna reference this. I wanna have a background of E2, E2, E2. This is the whitish gray color that we're gonna have below the image. We're gonna have a height of 300 view height. This is gonna make us be able to scroll down so I can show you the uh, the effect on the header. We want the logo to be font size 22 pixels. I want the header to have a color of white. I want it to have a, a transparent background. I want to have position, yeah, sticky, not static. Sticky. We want to have a C index of two because we're going to have this on top of the picture. Uh, I'm going to have set this to top zero. It's going to be sticky to the top. 
we're going to have a transition effect here. So it's going to be transition 0 0.3 seconds is in out set a height of 80 pixels. So I'll show you the reason why I have a header content div inside of the header. The reason for that is that I want to have the background on the header itself and I want to set a max width on the header content. This means that I can limit the width of the elements inside of the header, but also get the full width background color on the header. So that's the reason for that. And uh, that brings us to the header content. We're going to display flex there because we're going to justify everything in the center. Here we want to spread out the logo from the menu elements. And that way I'm going to justify content space between. This is going to push the logo to the left and the menu to the right. And I want, I want to align everything center. This is going to align its center from top and bottom. So in the middle of the header, I want to set a max width of 1100 pixels. So that max width right there is the only reason that I have this uh, content div. I wanted to set it to the center. So I want margin zero auto. I want to set a height of 100% of the header element. That's the parent. And I want to set the padding to zero and 40 pixels approximately. You can experiment with these values yourself and see what works best for you. I'm going to target the nav. The nav element is going to have a width of 40% of the header. The nav list is going to have a list style of none. I'm going to remove those dots that we don't like. I'm going to display this flex as well so we can make the items in line instead, instead of um, on top of each other. So I'm going to justify content space between. And then I'm going to set the width to 100%. So the list inside of the nav will take up 100% of the nav width. But it's going to display flex and get even spacing between each link. I'm also going to target the nav link. And I'm going to not exactly the nav link itself. I'm going to target the A tag inside of it. I want the color to be white to follow everything else. I want the text decoration to be none because I don't want the ugly underlines. I want border bottom two pixels solid transparent. This is because I'm going to have a hover effect that's going to show the borders. I want the transition of 0.3 seconds. I'm going to target the hover effect itself. So it's nav link a hover and then I just want to set the border bottom border bottom to two pixels solid white so that's going to show up when we have so that's going to show up when we hover it that's going to be our hover effect so for the content I'm going to set the background To the picture I have, so that's balloon.jpg. I'll quickly show you where you can get this. So if you head over to pexels.com, you can search for ocean, set the if you set the orientations to horizontal, then you'll find it like halfway down this list. So that's the image I'm gonna use. I'm gonna set that as the background. And I'm going to set the background size to cover. I'm also going to set the height of this to 600 pixels and position relative. I'm going to set the top. So that's only because I want to set the top minus 80 pixels. Oops. This is going to bring the image on under the header all the way to the top so I don't get the gap in between the top and the image. This is going to be below the header so I'm going to set the C index to 1. I want to display this flex and I want to align items center. This is going to put the text that I that I made in the center. So then I'm going to style the content H1. 
Actually, we can just target the title class that I gave it. I want to set the color of this to white as well as everything else. I want the font size to be 50 pixels. And I want the margin left to be 20%. So that's 20%. So I think that's it. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, now we have our menu displaying flex, putting everything in line. We have our hover effect, which is the border. We have our title here. We have our logo. And now what I want to do is I want to create, I want to create an animation where when the text is going out of the picture, I want it to have some background so we can actually see it. Now the contrast is too low and we won't be able to see the text or the title or anything. I also want the header to become a little bit smaller. When you scroll, you don't exactly want to take up the whole space on your user's screen. So I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to make give it a dark background so we can see the text on top of this white. So how we're going to do that is we are going to use some JavaScript. Not a lot of JavaScript at all. We just want to get the header. So I'm going to make a variable and call it header. I'm going to target the document and I'm going to select the header element with the class of header. So then I'm going to target window, which is the browser window itself. I'm going to add an event listener to that. This is a scroll event. And then I want this function to fire when we scroll. So inside of here, I want to say that if window dot scroll y is greater than or equal to 450 pixels, this means that if the user has scrolled 450 pixels down from the top or more, then we want to give the header a new class. We want to give it a class of scrolled. And then else I'm going to remove that. So it's going to be header class list remove scrolled like that. And now we're just going to make that class real quick. Let me see. Here's the header, the content. Yeah, so the header is going to get a new class. It's going to get a class of scrolled. So we want the scroll to have a height of, it's going to make it smaller, so a height of 50 pixels. So it's going to go from 80 to 50 pixels, and it's going to have a background, RGBA. We're going to set it 22, 22, 22, and 0.9. This is the alpha value, so this is going to be the opacity. I'm going to give this as a transition effect to make it look smoother. So you're going to say transition. Oops, I forgot to set the end this. So a transition of the same as the header. So 0.3 seconds is in out. Save this. Let's go check it out. It does not work for some reason. Okay, let's find out why it does not work. I found the mistake. It's scroll. And there we go. As you can see now, it gets a background when we scroll down at the edge of the picture so that we can still see the, the header. It also gets smaller, so it's not going to take up the whole 80 pixels of the top of the user's screen. And then it gets bigger again when we reach the top. But all, you can see here, there's a bug that when the top changes here, because the height changes of the header, so it's going to go over 450 pixels and under, over, under, and this makes this buggy and glitchy effect. The way we can fix this is we can go to our JavaScript file, and instead of just saying else here, I'm going to say else if, and I'm going to say window, scroll y, is less than or equal to 400. So this means that you have to be closer to the top to remove it and further down from the top to get added to this class. So now it's going to be really smooth. It's going to go on here 
and then it's going to go off a little bit further up. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, consider leaving a like on this video. If you like my content and you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.